the show. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And here are the goods. All right, so let's get this started. We have been wanting to freaking talk about Joker for a while. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It did not disappoint. Joker, number one box office, blowing out the expectations as far as what um, Venom had done last year. Beat Venom, uh, 93 million did for it number pass, one. Did, didn't, did, it, did it pass Deadpool? For R-rated film? No, it did not. Uh, but it was 234 million worldwide. Not bad for a okay. $55 million budget. Hey, um, this is one of those films where like they expect it to come in low for like, eh, just in case it doesn't do so well, we're not gonna lose money, and it doesn't taint the character or the franchise any more than it already has been tainted. So for it to do $93 million, based on the hype that had been done from the reviews, it's expected. Okay, and what about the, the um, X Factor as far as rated R, the rating? Uh, well, I mean, they kind of put it out there from the very first trailer that it was going to be like edgier, it was going to be something, and DC had already said before it was going to be rated R, so people knew that going in. I think people were a little confused or a little worried with Deadpool, but Deadpool and Logan proved that they can do a rated R comic book-esque film, and uh, it can still make money. So now, now, here's the thing that's really impressive about about it, so it's opening weekend, and that is that it did beat Venom, but Venom was PG-13, right. so it was open to a broader Audience. Yeah, so in, in a way that looks bad on Venom. <laughs> it, it does, <laughs> honestly. But there was a lack of competition. Nothing was really out there, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a lot of social media hype. But there was also a lot of uh, social media controversy regarding the movie. So there were a lot of things that were um, up against it. You uh, you do have um, you know a lot of the uh, the worry as far as the violence and the content and everything that it had. Right. Did you see the movie? I did see the movie. Okay. Now, from what you saw, was it warranted? What no, it was not. Uh, it, it definitely was not. There have been way worse films out there that have or that are way more like any Quentin Tarantino film was way more violent than early this film. Early Scorsese films. Yeah, early Scorsese films. Uh, way more violent than uh, Godfather. Jeez, <laughs> way more of a violent than this film. The um, I think in the in that they had to show violence to show where he was at as his character, but it seemed like they still kind of refrained from a lot of step a lot of a lot of ways they could have went with his character. They could have been, he could have been murdering people left and right and it would have fit within line with who his character was, but they kept it to like specific areas like the, like and events. Yeah, it was like the uh, a couple of the characters, and I'm not gonna spoil it in here, but a couple of characters, I could have totally seen him murder, but he didn't, so I mean, it's great. Okay. Like I said, I could have took my kids to see this one. Um, right now, <laughs> it, um, it does have mixed reviews. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes currently has it at a 69, but the audience scores at 92%. Mm -hmm. And that's really all that matters. <laughs> yeah, and the and the uh, the praise for this film, as far as the performance that Joaquin Phoenix does, I mean, I don't understand or see who can actually beat him in an Oscar race for best actor. His performance was absolutely, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, he, you just lose yourself in the performance. You don't see, you know, uh, you don't see Joaquin Phoenix anymore. You really do see Arthur Fleck. No, yeah, you definitely do. Like he did, he did a great job, and I know he's one of those kind of method actors. So um, he really became this character, and you, you walked away like, ooh, yeah. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit, but uh, let's go on. Number two, Abominable. You know, second week, 12 million, 76 so far worldwide. So small fit, small, small foot, foot two. two. It is number two. What do you think? <laughs> that it's still number two. Once again, no competition. Was, the people needed to take their kids to go see something. So because they, they couldn't take them to see Joker. Joker. All That's right. My kids. Number three. Uh, <laughs> Last week's winner, Downton Abbey, is is uh, down to third place, eight million, uh, seventy three million worldwide. That movie's worldwide. still making money. That movie is still making money. Is that crazy? <laughs> no, oh. Number four, um, J Lo's booty. Oh, that's, that's that's gonna make money. For that's a gonna while. make money. Six point three million. That movie should actually surpass a hundred million this week. Can so, we get a hustlers too? We will probably get a hustlers too. I, Mo, we're not gonna <laughs> Mo, Mo J Lo's. <laughs> I was, I, I was thinking of an acronym, I guess. <laughs> Number five was it, chapter two. Pennywise still bringing in that dough. 5.3 million, 202 million domestically so far. So maybe, you, maybe you are going to get your prequel. <laughs> I think we're going to get that prequel. I really do. I, I Don't really do a do. prequel. Don't do a Jeepers Creepers 2. Three. Two. Th three. Two was the second day. Two. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> You're right. All right. <laughs> All right. So up next week, we got this, um, this new spin on the whole... Alexa thing, and it's called Jexy. And it's with Adam Devine, and uh, she is, uh, Rose Byrne actually plays the voice of Jexy, similar to Alexa, that takes over the phone, that's her phone, and- Is this a he, horror film? No, it's not. When he falls in love with uh, Alexandra Ship, you know, the one that you, the, the actress that you introduced, that interviewed a little bit there? Yeah, my best friend. Uh-huh, she, uh, they actually fall in love, and the phone gets jealous. And Wasn't starts, this called her? 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Isn't this called her? It's her too. Herxy. It's Herxy. <laughs> so, so that's a. Uh, so yeah. So it's supposed to. Be, it looks pretty funny, you know, but. Oh, it's more of a comedy. It's though. a comedy. Her, yeah. It was more of a drama. Yeah. Okay. It can With go Joaquin with, Phoenix. With, yeah. <laughs> uh, Gemini Man, where Will Smith uh, fights the Fresh Prince. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> this is funny. And I was like, okay, they made a younger him, but they just basically used the the Fresh Prince face. <laughs> so they gave him a hot top fade and everything. Fresh Prince versus Will Smith. What I wondered about this the is Kumite that we always wanted. <laughs> What I wondered about this is that I bet you doing the body double, it's Jaden Smith. Actually, there is no body double. It's all CGI? It is completely CGI. Uh, is that amazing? It's, it's going to look like, because in the first trailer that I saw for this, for, saw for this that uh, some of the CGI looked like it wasn't quite finished yet. And I was like, okay, hopefully when it gets closer to release, they'll kind of refine it. Uh, but if he's all CGI and doing all that much action, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, like Neo-esque and Reloaded, you know. Oh, <laughs> bendy arms and legs. <laughs> and the, the, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. So, but that's up next. Gemini Man is coming up next. And a, a new uh, uh, incarnation of the Adams Family, this time in oh, animated, animated yeah. with Oscar Isaac and Charlie Theron. That I cannot wait. I actually do yeah. want to see this movie. Uh, that, uh, unfortunately, I mean, not to say that the live action one wasn't entertaining when it came out, but I think just the Adams Family works better in anime version versus you know, the live action films that we got, but the TV show is iconic and I know you're getting ready to say that. <laughs> no, what I would have preferred is Angelica Houston playing the grandmother and Christina Ricci playing Morticia. Oh, that would have been together. awesome. That would have been awesome. I would have loved that. But it is what it is. Charlize is great. Oscar Isaac is fantastic. So, yeah. you know, I'm pretty sure that uh, it's going to be just fine. I just wonder what the, uh, who they, what kids remember the Adams Family? Because even the live action movie was a long time ago. Yes, it was 92. Yeah, so like, was, I yeah. hope that this film doesn't bomb because the kids don't know what this is. I think because it's animated, I think, and, and we're getting closer to... So you're um, like, kids are like, colors! <laughs> <laughs> we're getting closer to Halloween. This has got a tone similar okay, it, it to finds Hotel a, Transylvania. Okay, I got you. You know, like, do kids really know, like, Bella Lugosi and all of the Wolfman and all of those? No, but no, Hotel but, Transylvania you know, is huge. Dracula still, like... I mean, it's Sandler, okay, I get it, but regardless, you know. Anyway, I, right. think, that, I think that kind of... Uh, that that kind of uh, uh, Halloween feel that it, that it has, that's gonna drive the kids to want to go see. Color, color. <laughs> so speaking of colors, uh, iced tea. Color. Oh really? <laughs> I was like, wow, that was an amazing transition there, sir. <laughs> oh man, so we were talking about Joker and and the, uh, the the worry and the controversy that was surrounding it before its release. All of it very much legit especially when you think about the stuff that happened in aurora a few years ago it was legit um and uh, luckily enough i was part of this and luckily enough nothing happened the the draining thing about this though was the amount of focus and high alert awareness that you have to have consistently from a thursday friday and saturday is yeah. ridiculously wow. mentally exhausting you feel like you were a part of secret service and yeah. i was so <laughs> drained man i was so drained just just looking at every single person and then all of the kids that tried to go into the movie because they're not old enough to go right. into the movie and parents leaving their kids and hiding through restrooms and ru running around and trying to leave so they don't have to see the movie with their kids. <laughs> I mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, so what, was... they bought an extra ticket just to leave their kids? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> So humanity. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that is probably the the uh, the most that we went through. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty good. Uh, everybody did a great job. Uh, not so much as far as other places. Now, granted, it wasn't anything as horrific as the things that happened before, but you know there was still some cause for concern. Uh, first, New York people left because there was a young man that was laughing at the murder scenes, clapping and doing all sorts of crazy crap. Did he have the same mental illness? I, that... They didn't say, but they did uh, They did pull him aside, interrogate him and all that good stuff. And it was, uh, yeah, luckily nobody was hurt, but it was still disturbing. Yeah. Okay. Long Beach, gentleman with a backpack stood in front of the audience. Uh, I think some of this is trolling. Like people are really were just be. trying to do something just could to kind of work minutes, people up. Get the 15 minutes, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, luckily, like I said, nothing was hurt there. Nobody was hurt there. Chicago, um, you had some loud people smoking, blowing smoke in their faces, stuff like that. They, I believe, they were arrested. Yeah, I mean, you can't smoke it's, inside. It's, it's a chat. It's places anymore. Movies like this bring out the trolls. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases, alcohol was a part right. of the issue. So it's unfortunate, but um, you know, luckily nothing bad, you know, really I, happened. I'm glad. As, as much as I kept wanting to say it was like maybe we were overreacting, it's better to overreact and just to say no, like, absolutely, to not think anything was happening and something really does happen. And now for the movie itself, there's a key scene where the Joker is in a 
a lot of you have seen it where he's dancing on the stairs and there yes. is a key song as far as the the old rock and roll uh, song that they had in the sports arenas. Okay. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. Anyway, well, that was actually um, um, put together by a, a uh, the artist was actually convicted of child uh, like child pedophile. He's a child. Really? He's a, yeah. He's a pedophile. Oh wow. And uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of people outraged and upset because he's making money now. He's in prison. Is he? But he's making money off of the film, and uh, yeah, that's a, that's creating a lot of controversy in itself. Also with that. Too. I mean, um, well, I mean, eventually R. Kelly's still gonna be making money off of his stuff. That, so. That's very true. That's very true. Uh, but it, but uh, either way, the uh, I don't I hope that none of this stuff takes away from the movie because it no. it really is a solid. I hadn't heard of that until you mentioned it. Okay. Yeah, it was really a solid movie, and like we talked about earlier, as far as the comparisons, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, early Martin Scorsese perfect films to compare this yes. movie to mm -hmm. uh, so if you have not seen it please go see it go check it out uh, you know do not live in fear and if you guys are out there hurting find help please yes all right so the Joker uh, is one of the first films as far as to highlight the origins of a villain is it the very first no I was trying to think back on these things okay all right as of right now Maleficent comes to mind I mean, yeah, because we just saw a trailer for it, so. <laughs> but the first one, I'm talking right. about the first Maleficent. So that comes to mind as far as origin for villains. Right. Not origins for, for uh, the heroes. Venom. Venom, uh, yeah. anti-hero. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I got, I had one in my mind that I was thinking, and I was going back and forth, talking to a guy named Matt. Okay. Yeah, me and Matt talk a lot. Vader, do you count the prequels it is. as an origin it is. story it of Vader? Is. They actually even promoted it that way. And it was like, you know, see Vader's origins when the originals first when the when the originals first came out. That's what it was promoted as. It's like learn how Vader became Vader. Okay. He's, but in the in Phantom Menace, he I mean, wasn't he wasn't introduced to like towards the Pot middle and towards the end. <laughs> Pot race. Sorry. Pot race. Pot race. <laughs> so that's why it's debatable on part. Right. I think part two and part three are more. Yeah, I mean, but it was it's literally it's, it's a setup to tell you all of his story. Back. I'll go back. All right. <laughs> so villain origin stories. Okay. Who would be the next one that you would take this similar approach? What is the next origin, the villain that, origin like, story that you would go for? Does it have to be something that we've already seen? Okay, or? so I'm gonna throw this one at you. Okay. Okay. Well, you said Vader, uh -huh. but Vader standalone, maybe? A Vader standalone? We, we've already seen his origin. Okay, cool. You lo love it or hate it? We've Thrawn. No, I mean, I, we don't okay. know him enough. Doom. Doctor Doom. <laughs> it's so tied into Fantastic Four. Now, if they like do kind of like how they did X Men Origins. What if they did similar to what they did with Batman Begins? And it's this time it's, you know, Doom's doing his thing or whatever, and it's the Fantastic Four that are the, the, um, well, yeah, well, like that, I that was teaser for the, for part two, you know? Oh, I, I said X-Men Wars, but I didn't mean X-Men Wars. I, I meant X-Men First Class, like they did with Magneto. Okay. Yeah, so there was another uh, villain origin film. So, uh, like how they did it. That like, would be interesting, though. It's, it, the focus is really him. That's a great Even focus. though X-Men, I mean, the film is about the X-Men, it the focus is really him. It's like how he became Magneto. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if they That's do something point. like that with That's Dr. Doom, that would actually be great because you still get to introduce the Fantastic Four and maybe how they, and obviously in the comic books, how they relate to each other. And then somehow his he switches and then he becomes their enemy. Okay. So, that would be a great way to do it. Doom would be an awesome one. Thanos. No. You wouldn't want a Thanos <laughs> origin story. No, I think his story should stay the way it is. I don't need to feel sympathetic for him. He already made me feel sympathetic when he did the whole, like, resources are running out. I get your plight, sir. I understand why you're doing this. For you to give me more things, this is going to convolute it. So deep like, down inside, Thanos was right. Thanos was right. Killmonger was right. Uh, Killmonger <laughs> was right. <laughs> Though, Thanos was right, but Thanos had the power to just double resources. <laughs> he could have just doubled the resources. an awful joke. It said, uh, uh, your mama's so fat, Thanos had to snap twice. Oh, <laughs> it's a good joke. It's a good, you know what? We love them. Yeah, a good your mama joke. <laughs> good your mama jokes. All right, anyway. Uh, okay, last one, Riddler. Now, you got to take Jim Carrey out of this. You got to take Frank Gorshin out of this. In a sense, Batman Returns is a villain origin film for Penguin and Catwoman. Uh, how much of that was really maybe. bad? How much? How much was that? I mean, he started off. I mean, he they went through his whole like he was left. And he was left, much, and the, yeah, was, yeah. Pee Wee Herman threw him in the yeah. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
be true. Uh, but it's like, that's another one. It's like, so, I mean, I guess if they made the focus of the movie more Riddler than they do Batman, but we are still trying to establish our new Batman first, so you can't do that. Okay, why not? You just did it with Joker. Why would you not be able to do that with Riddler? Because the Joker that they're presenting to us... Right. So that's what I'm saying. So I guess. I have... guess. All right. Point proven. Okay. So, so you going with that? You go with Riddler I mean, or just? No, sorry? I want Doom. Okay, Doom. All right. <laughs> never mind. I would do. You know, uh, Ra's al Ghul. You know, what? I want to know more of the uh, the uh, the what stupid group that they were in. The League of Shadows. The League of Shadows. I want to know about the League of Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in the shadows, you find the evil dead, and you found him back in 81. And guess what? It's coming back. It was already back. No, it's coming back again. It's coming back again. <laughs> again. When? What is Soon. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Evil Dead premiered in 1981. Part 2 premiered in 1987. Army of Darkness was in 1992, which I honestly, I don't know why, and I'm sorry I'm going to get so much hate. I don't really like Army of Darkness I don't like that Army much. Of Darkness I mean, I think it's okay, Army but of it's not... It was like they, it's not dead by dawn. No, it was one of those things where it was like, we don't know what else to do with this franchise. Let's just <laughs> comedy it up. Comedy it up. So, I mean, and well, then... I mean, Dead by Dawn was kind of comedy, too. And then two was a rehash of one. Exact rehash <laughs> of one, which is why I, I pick, um, I would pick the remake over part two. Right. Speaking of, 2013, the remake uh, was made. Director Fede Alvarez, amazing remake. Uh, Great, great practical effects, great demon makeup. It was absolutely a freaking thing of beauty. And they said it was the most blood used in a horror film ever? Until It Chapter 2. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know what? And, and at the end, you had that special cameo with uh, Bruce Campbell, and he did the groovy, mm -hmm. right, at the end, right? So everybody thought that maybe that we were going to get that little mashup there between Mia and Ash. That would have okay. been cool, right? right? Well, in 2015, they actually brought Ash Williams back, and they did the Stars TV series of Ash vs. Oh, yeah. Evil Ash vs. Evil Dead, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so since then, uh, I think it lasted three or four seasons, and since then, Bruce Campbell's actually killed it. It's he he, he's retired it. Yeah, he's retired the thing. It's like I'm I'm doing Boba Hotep too. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> go watch Boba Hotep. <laughs> um, okay, so now Sam Raimi has come out and said that there is a new Evil Dead coming out. It so better be a sequel. Which one do you want to see? Do you want to see a sequel to the original trilogy? And the series, I guess. Okay. Or do you want to see a sequel to the remake, but have Ash in it and have that Ash Mia? Okay, I, I'm a little torn because I want to see a sequel to the remake and see where they go further with, you know, how they left it. But if they can somehow do a better job than Evil Dead 2 did, the original, well, the only one, Evil Dead 2 did in transitioning over into that other dimension and, and with, with the Army of Darkness. Towards the end, yeah. Yeah, if they could do a better job of explaining that and make it make more sense than what it really did, uh, then I would be okay with seeing that as long as they're gonna continue with Army of Darkness and more of a horror element as opposed to the goofy comedy that it became. Did you say Army of Darkness? Army of Darkness. <laughs> Army darkness. of Darkness. <laughs> um, <laughs> As long as they can make it more horror than what it had been in the original film. Uh, it, there's plenty they could do with it and say like in another dimension, maybe it's it's more like a Hellraiser thing where it's like there that's hell at that point. Or... And, but I, don't make it comedy again because they'll just ruin what I they think, already did. I think um, there were so many elements of comedy in Dead by Dawn in, in, the, in the original Evil Dead 2 that you pretty much had to go that route to, for Evil Dead 3 because it worked in the part in the second one. Mm -hmm. Um, if they were to go uh, the route of um, of the of Fede Alvarez's Evil Dead, mm -hmm. there was no comedy in that at all. No, that's I so they like that. So I would prefer the the I would prefer to bring Ash or take Mia to that dimension where yeah. Ash is. I'll take that or Ash to her dimension where it is serious because I think he'll he'll bring some levity to it. But if you want him back. I, I, I would like that mashup one more time. Let have that. Let's have that mashup, but maybe not. And let him be. Let him be the comic relief or the le levity, but not have it to where. I don't want to see him back. I would love. I would love I to see both see of them back. back. That would be awesome. I don't want to see him back. I mean, Jane Levy was just amazing in that movie. I, I don't. But want the to thing that sucks about it is that I don't think dress that she him as would be, a demon and don't let us know that it's him. I don't think that she would be a demon again because she was amazing as a demon. Mm -hmm. She looked great. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, make it make it more Hellraiser ish. So another uh, another classic returning to the screen is Revenge of the Nerds. 
this film ain't gonna make it. And if it does, it's gonna be so sanitized that you're gonna be like, why did they do that? So Revenge of the Nerds came out in 1984. Right. All right, mm -hmm. in a time where raunch comedies, especially from Fox, a raunch comedies ruled. By the way, we have a top five of raunch comedies. Top five raunch comedies. <laughs> Number one, bachelor party for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so you know, you had that, speaking of, you had those bachelor parties, you had Porky's, you had hot dog, yeah. hamburger, and all the other foods, and you had, you Did know. Did they try to remake Porky's? No, but that would be awesome. Angel Beach Gators. Forget it. <laughs> anyway, but you, <laughs> you had all of these. be a fan, be an athletic supporter. You had, <laughs> <laughs> you had all of these raunch comedies and all that, right? So you think about the stuff that happened back then. You can't play that now. You can't do those same kind of jokes and that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though Good Boys and Super Bad and all of that, I mean, even Super Bad you can't really do anymore, I guess. Well, they did. They just did Good Boys. Never mind. Uh, so I guess there's a fine line, but could you see Revenge of the Nerds honestly working with that kind of... Yeah, without the Vader scene. What? Without the Vader scene. What do you mean? The oh, the Vader scene. Yeah. <laughs> without the Vader scene. Yeah. He, he actually still says that it's a flat-out rape scene. Um, it, it is. Um, <laughs> it is. But anyway, so, I mean, like, when you mentioned, when you mentioned, <laughs> I don't know where this segment went, uh, the um, uh, Good Boys uh, proved that you could still do that type of comedy. Like, American Pie was raunchy for what it was, uh, but then that kind of went away, got burnt out, and I didn't think that they, maybe they could go back and do stuff like that, but obviously Good Boys proved that you could do it. I mean, it didn't make a lot of money, but it proved that there are still people that kind of want to see it, or at least that we're willing to take those type of, uh, at least flirt with those lines of like how, the boundaries that we can push. Okay, so, and speaking of, there was a lot of boundaries pushed in that movie. Yeah. And, um, actually you know, watched it. It, 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 it goes, Oh, we're talking about? Huh? Nothing, go ahead. Oh, it, it goes, <laughs> it goes, <laughs> It goes on uh, to have, what, three or four more sequels oh. that this thing had. A lot, uh, all of them, a lot of people don't like. I like Nerds in Paradise. I thought Revenge of the Nerds Part 2 was hilarious. I liked it. Uh, I, was, I bought it. I don't care what anybody says. I like that movie. You're wrong. But from three on, <laughs> it was not very good. And there were, there were a lot of attempts to actually bring this thing back, you know, freaking Booger and yeah. and Robert, Robert Kennedy and Curtis Armstrong really wanted to do something back. Never happened. But a lot of the, a lot they of the had cast, else going on. A lot of the cast, I know, right? A lot of the cast, um, you know, are available to do this. With the exception of, you know, obviously Anthony Edwards does not really, he distanced himself from Revenge of the Nerds because he was doing ER and he's doing all this TV okay. stuff. So he kind of distanced And he himself. did better films after that. Yeah. <laughs> he was Goose, man. Anyway. <laughs> I'd rather die in an airplane than be in another Revenge of the Nerds. That's sad. Anyway. Go so, ahead. because of this Fox merger with Disney, you know, Disney does want to bring back the nerds with the original cast. Uh, curious of how they're going to do this. Curious if it's going to be released theatrically or on the Disney Plus. Or, I don't know. So here's the same thing that they face. Is that nerds back then aren't nerds today. It, they're not the same type of people. So it's like social media nerds? It's a, yeah, it's a different type of nerd now, what we consider nerds. It's like nerds is like your gamer now. So before it's like, it's like you, I, can, I can't call you a nerd. I'm gonna text you, hey, you're a nerd. Yeah. And also, <laughs> hey, too, read that, read that. nerds and geeks are popular now. And I was like, so they face the same thing, and, I, and I, a good script can help it, but they face the same thing with Ghostbusters. And it's like, Ghostbusters today ain't Ghostbusters what it was back then. Now it's just kind of like, hey, we're just gonna do like these little uh, seance, well, not seances, but like we're gonna do, record the audio and stuff like that. We're not catching ghosts, we're just trying to prove that ghosts exist type deal. And I guess in a sense you could say the original Ghostbusters was trying to do that too before they went to trying to catch ghosts. Fine, whatever. But I don't think that, that that type of nerd that they were trying to present, if they try to do that today, it won't make sense. So, I mean, they'd have to transition what the nerd is, but now that nerd is popular. Nerds today and geeks today are popular. <laughs> we run the world, people. That's why all the Marvel movies are so big right and now. And the meek shall inherit the earth. That's how that goes. There you go. See, the jocks are the ones that are nerds. <laughs> That's the twist! <laughs> the jocks are the nerds. <laughs> Oh man, so tell us what you think. Do you want to see Revenge of the Nerds back? Do you want to see Evil Dead back? Put your comments below. Let us know what you think about that. I have got to get something off my chest. Go ahead. We have gotten so much crap 
for this Tim Miller okay. Terminator story. And I don't know why. I didn't make the statement. He made the statement. We want to clear some things up. Well, at least I wanted to clear some things up. Everything that we put on there was based off of a direct quote, which Terrence actually put up for you to read, yes. that Tim Miller said. Yes. It was not our opinion. Now, the there were some... I mean, I gave you, my you opinion, opinion you gave of your what opinion he said. said. And there were others that... There were a lot of people on there that actually agreed with you. Yes. And the guy on the left. <laughs> and uh, there were a lot that just bashed us hardcore, which is fine. And our and our uh, I'm okay. Our uh, dislikes are the, the highest we've ever had. Hilariously high. It was hilariously <laughs> high. But uh, quarter quadriplegic man that wants to do gay porn is good. Good. Good vibes on that one. Yeah. Priorities, That's guys. In <laughs> inclusivity, sir. Inclusivity. So here's the <laughs> issue that I have with that. The more I was thinking about it, um, the more I was thinking about it. Terminator has never given me anything different outside of three. I mean, outside of two. Okay. It's never given anything I mean, different. like different as opposed it's to... It's been remade, technically. I mean, well, about, okay, so killer, Terminator comes. Good. Yeah, the good defender, one protects them. And, yeah. yeah, you have a killer and I mean, a protector. I mean, technically, they haven't given you anything different since one. <laughs> like, all of them are the same. Yeah, but, but no, you didn't, you didn't have a, a Terminator protector in part one. Okay, but it you was had still a one good in guy part two, them. so that's where it's okay. Right so there. okay, so okay, good Terminator protector versus evil Terminator. Blah, because blah, he had a human fight. protector okay. in the first one. Second one, I mean, in the first one, you had term bad Terminator, right. which Arnold should always be a bad guy because <laughs> he's amazing as it, at it. Uh, but then you get to three, then again, mm -hmm. bad, good, then salvation, uh, then salvation made a good Terminator, yeah. and it's like he didn't know when he was a Terminator, then and, and then. I guess. Genesis was just a, another remake of this and give me a twist of bad John Connor, who was also a Terminator. Uh, so that's so, why that's why I say that like Dark Fate is just four and five. And now you look at Dark Fate, which it's, it's four and five takes, together. Technically takes place after Judgment Day. Mm -hmm. Everything yes, takes place after yeah, Judgment everything Day. Everything takes place after <laughs> Judgment Day. So now you have that and it's basically the same damn formula all over again. Why do I want to see Terminator Dark Fate? Look, Tim Miller, you didn't say it's word for word, <laughs> but we got it. It ain't that good, but it's better than them other ones. <laughs> it's, it's better than them other ones. Look, and that's fine. If you guys don't like that I summarized what he said, that's fine. When you go out and see Dark Fate and you don't like it, you can come back and say, you were right, Terrence. <laughs> How about this? I'm gonna put a challenge out to you guys. When you watch Terminator Dark Fate, and if you commented commented below, and you actually f understand that it was it was not very good, I want you to take all those dislikes. Yeah, back can you just take them off and put them all the, the likes. <laughs> that would be great if you guys that would definitely be awesome. Do that. Yeah. Oh man, Terrence, take us home. All right, so uh, another week that we skipped, and we're back here again. So I once again appreciate you guys still following along at least with the podcast because everything else we tend to do pretty frequently uh but if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you go and like you said like please like don't dislike like and comment below what your thoughts are on on any of the topics that we talked about today as well as subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel also if you want to see us get better or if you just want to throw money at us because you hate you want to hate watch us and stuff that'd be great we take money even if you don't like us go to our patreon at <laughs> patreon.com forward slash the goods and you contribute anywhere from a dollar on up to help the show get better and do more 10 million dollars right <laughs> i want to throw a shout out to uh, at uh, two shots podcast for uh, having me on and uh, countdown city podcast for having terrence on uh, a couple weeks ago so appreciate uh the exposure there thank you so much for for having us on your shows oh you know what shout out um one of my my son's uh front classmates and i can't remember your twitter uh, now your twitter handle your uh your youtube uh handle uh but he knows who he is and i apologize in the next video i will look up your name and i will i will shout you out on there but i just thought about it right now What's up, man? Thanks for because he he was commenting. He has to be shouted out on the show. So and you do it by not remembering <laughs> not remembering his name. It was All righty like then. Something. That's okay. He forgets my name too. Yeah, all the time. For us and not where the hell they're at. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. Do we'll one. Hi right, guys, welcome to the show. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And here is the goods. Here is the goods. Here's the goods. Here's the goods. Goods. <laughs> do it again. All right. I'm glad you messed it up because I wasn't sure if my mic was on. My mic is on. It is on. But he messed here up. Here is the goods. Here is the goods. He is the. Good. All right, three, two, one. <laughs>